Welcome to the Missouri Baptist Women's Basketball Coaches Show. I'm Harry Schrader, head coach Iris Dixon, of course, is here. And uh, a big win last night over Hannibal LaGrange. And you guys are solidly in a playoff spot right now. But let's we'll talk about that in a bit. Talk about last night's game. Uh, last night's game was, was huge for us. Uh, coming off of a, a game um, that was uh, just really a tough one uh, against Columbia. Uh, you know, the concern a little bit was how we was going to uh, bounce back. And, uh, you know, going down to Hannibal, um, you know, we, we managed to uh, do what we need to do and to, to get the win. Amanda Scott gets a double-double for you last night. Uh, she just has continued to play really strong basketball for you. She was a little MIA at, at Columbia, I mean, but then came back with a great game last night. Yeah, I think uh, all of us was a little bit MIA at Columbia, <laughs> so... Uh, <laughs> We, we needed everybody to show up for Hannibal, and, uh, and, and they did, you know. Um, like I say, you know what uh, Amanda Scott is capable of doing. Um, Megan Facino, freshman, stepped in, uh, definitely had a good game for us. And, of course, uh, Shaylen Robinson uh, had a good game for us, too. But others also contributed as well. You know, it was a good, it was a good team win for us. Amanda gets the double-double. You guys uh, defeat Hannibal LaGrange. And incremental improvement. I think about uh, you guys finished the season last year with 10 wins. You've got 10 wins now with four games left. I missed the playoffs last year. You're going to most likely make the playoffs this year. Is that how coaches can kind of step back and go, okay, what are our in incremental growth places? Uh, you know, looking at, of course, you always you want to do better than you did the year before. Um, you know, you look at uh, in terms of the conference, you know, it's, it's definitely a tough conference. And, you know, we, we have to take each game as it come. And looking at those um, uh, uh, wins and, and losses and, and, and things that we've taken, you know, this year we had a really tough schedule in the non-conference uh, as well. But we look at how we progress and where we are right now. So it's always a, a key to uh, improve every year. You know, last year we did make the tournament. This year, you know, we, we're striving to, to get there. And uh, if everything goes well, you know, we'll be there. Nine conference wins in one of the absolutely best conferences in the NAIA. You guys have really played some good basketball. I want to go back to last night. Riley Redden, uh, four assists, a donut on the turnover category. No turnovers for her last night. That is, that is huge. I don't know that she, she knows that or anything <laughs> like that, but uh, that is huge, uh, you know, for us because, you know, with her, it's, it's been our challenge for her to, you know, to that assist to turnover ratio to the turnover, I mean, assist to be better than the turnover ratio. And she's really been working hard at that. And she's also been contributing in the scoring column as well. And, and that's needed, again, being down players and things like that. Everyone has got to contribute. You mentioned Megan Facino, the freshman who's been getting more and more time with some of the people uh, you know, being down some players, but also her improvement has come along with it. But talk about her game last night. Uh, you know, just, you know, Megan is Megan. She's a freshman. Uh, she just, she's nonstop. And uh, I think once, uh, you know, she really gets that under control, um, she's going to be, you know, phenomenal players for us. Uh, she's really coming into her own. Uh, she's feeling more confident. Um, she's really stepping up and knocking down shots. Um, and like I said, you know, she just has this motor and she just goes, goes, goes. And, uh, you know, like I said, once she really uh, grasps that in terms of, of, of controlling things like that, she's, she's going to be dynamic for us. Against Columbia, she had a little bit of a brain lock, put one in for the other team. Uh, that's just not a freshman mistake. That's just your brain going blank. And uh, I want to know how she reacted to that. That's all, the only reason I bring it up. How did she react to that coming out of that? Yeah, I think she reacted to how we all reacted to it. It was, it was one of unbelievable, but, uh, you know, you had to bring that one up, huh? Uh, <laughs> we, <laughs> she, uh, she was in total disbelief. She just, she couldn't believe it. Like I said, that motor just goes, goes, goes. And she was just, she was, honestly, I believe she was just so into the game and just ready to go that she just really didn't think about it. And, you know, we stress about rebounding and finishing in the paint, you you know, it's just that we don't stress doing it for the other team. So, um, but she, uh, <laughs> she was really, she was really just upset about that. But she came back in last night's game and, and, and really, really made up for it. She has a good, for being a post player, she has a good mid-range game. She can knock it down from 12, 15 feet. Yeah, she, uh, she plays that stretch four for us. And uh, she, um, she can hit that mid-range shot. You know, she's always trying to, to get me to give her the green light to shoot the three, but that's not happening. Good. So um, she uh, will, will keep her inside finishing those layups and those uh, uh, short to mid-range shots. Shea Robinson gets double digits again last night. She has just been a constant all year long. 
Yeah, been a constant all year long, and uh, you know, I, I think there's more you know from her that we can get. You know, uh, she's a little bit under the weather, but um, you know, we got three games left in the regular season, and uh, you know, my goal for them is to give it everything that they have, and I think they will. We're talking about the race now. You guys are in solidly in seventh place, uh, a couple of games in front of the eighth place team. Let's talk about how important it is to make the AMC tournament for you guys. It's it's huge. Uh, coming off last year, uh, like I say, not making the tournament. Um, you know, after they went to the uh, top eight teams, uh, you know, only making the tournament. Um, it's it's huge for us. Uh, you know, as a, on a personal level, as a coach, on a, a team level, um, player level, it, it is it's it's important that we get there to know that we haven't been battling all year for nothing. And um, it's not about just you know getting there, but you know, hey things to look forward to in the next year, you know, things that we have to work on. Um, so it's, it's really important, I think, overall for, for the team as a whole, um, for the work that they've put in and uh, to really get there and who knows what, what can happen then. Yeah, and building for next year, you lose a couple of seniors, but you have, uh, and, and Facino's your only freshman, but you've got a ton of juniors coming back next year. Yeah, a ton of juniors coming back, and hopefully, you know, uh, we they they know the system, uh, bringing in new people. There will be minor adjustments to that, and they can bring them on board and uh, make us a better team. Harris Stowe up next. Talk about that game. Uh, you know, Harris Stowe, uh, they're playing they're playing well. You know, uh, the last outing we had against them, you know, it wasn't a, wasn't a pretty game, and uh, we we were not prepared to, to compete against them. Uh, now we're going into their place, um, so we're going to prepare for them. And you know, again, while we may be sitting in that seven uh, seven spot for the conference or whatever, every game is still important for us, and uh, we're going to take it as such. You know, we we want to go for as many wins as we can. That's the head coach, Iris Dixon. You've been watching the Missouri Baptist women's basketball coach. Coach's show, I'm Harry Schrader. Thanks for watching.